Your seat comes with an adjustable crotch buckle. It has a longer length and a shorter length to it. You also have two different positions for your crotch buckle, an inner position and an outer position. You always need to position the crotch buckle so that it is either even with the child's crotch or behind the child's crotch. When you're changing from one position to the other, you need to turn the crotch buckle sideways. And it's a little bit easier if you kind of push it down a little bit before you do it. And then you're going to slide it up into the forward position, straighten it out so that the red button is facing out. And you can use the shorter length on either the inner or the outer positions. When you're adjusting it from the shorter length to the longer length, you need to take the crotch buckle out completely. To take it out, you need to get it sideways in the center position, and then you're going to pull it up and out just like that. Select your longer length, turn it sideways to put it in, and then straighten it out in the front. Okay, and your red button should finish so that it's always facing out so you can buckle up. To replace the seat pad, you need to make sure that you use the exact same position in the seat pad as you have the crotch buckle in the car seat. We have the crotch buckle in the outer position, so we're going to be using the outer position of the seat pad as well. And you're simply going to be lining up the crotch buckle and pressing it right through the fabric, just like that, and pulling it out. Once you have it through, there are plastic tabs just on the back, and you're going to line them up with the back of the shell of the seat. And you're going to slide it into place and just push down to lock the seat pad into place.